That's the reason I brought the RISO, because medicine theft ETC is not only in Lira district or city, it's in the region. They give a lot, we respond, but there are actions that have to be taken locally. Um, so in terms of your vibrancy as a council in the city, that's applauded. I take credit in that. I, I give you credit, I mean. However, certain processes have to be brought back. Like, I don't have access if this. Is it HCMS? It has to go back to the finance. It has to go back to the car. It has to go back to the down plan. So, some of the issues, we can only report to a certain level. Like, um, if you followed uh, the medicine supply, there has been back and forth between Ministry of Finance and NMS. But finally, NMS delivered. I saw the truck yesterday at night. It slept in the hospital. Now, when medicines are delivered, all the respective offices, police, resource, ETC, you should witness this RSC. If possible, even get a copy of delivery. When you go to truck and you see a badge, you know. I like South Sudan. South Sudan, anything, they do multi-sectoral. National security will be there, finance will be there to confirm if this amounts to the medicine. In a match, we noted abnormality with delivery. I don't know if you took note. Some items which were brought were not for the badge for that facility. And others were less quantity than what it should come. That's the role of monitoring. Otherwise, we are not going to substitute the work we're doing. The president sends us to come and find out what is on ground. And if there's any follow-up action, that's why the RCC is there for the city, the RDC is there, and so on. Okay? So from this meeting, Let's take note that certain things can only be changed. Even uh, one of the districts, we have a letter we are sending to the PS to flag this issue about the poor service delivery. For 11 years, the district has no district hospital, has no health center for. And politicians are elected year after another. You see? We send it, then the local people have to follow. So what we, we do is to make sure you strengthen the existing system. You cannot take up the work of the district. Okay? Um, Dr. Isaac, you talked about HMU approach. Nothing to defend or what, but I think if you call our approach very ruthless or unfriendly, I don't know what you'd say if you read the press. Ntungamo had issues and lots of things were unearthed and processed. However, what we've migrated from is the traditional approach of arrest people, ETC. You yourself, you know that some officers in the district should have been arrested. But we chose to follow the diplomacy issue. How can someone draw salary from two districts in the government and he still works and is not arrested? Carl, you know this issue. And How? Then goes on to and now. goes on to threaten and I assure you that I'm above you and deal with you. He threatened our detective from State House. Showing that I'm going to deal with you. Remember, for security, any information you utter. If you call me on the phone now and you say, we are going to deal with you, simple. I, I leave to my detective, say, get me his call recording. And then you, you come and answer. So, the approach of work has grossly changed. Was anybody arrested in Lira District during our visit? Lira City? Lira Regional Reform? But there are gross absenteeism of five years. Not that we are covering all because I come from here, but because certain things you really have, you will find a way of behaving. In panic, if you say they are witch hunting, why did you go ahead and with the, what is the deposit back salary which you've earned? Why? This conforms what the Bible says: the wicked flees when no one is chasing. We've not recorded your statement, we've not called open a GEF for you, but you've refunded money back to the treasury. Why? These are things which are happening. So what we are doing is we are building dialogue, diplomacy. Look at this kind of meeting, giving a feedback. If HMU today, of today is not HMU of 2.9 and 2.10. When a twin could come here and would arrest all of you. But our approach is very diplomatic. We don't arrest, we investigate, call you to the office if you have questions to answer. They take your, your whatever, the police handle you. We don't arrest. 
Doctor, you have a blue star. <laughs> we are very kind. The approach we are bringing now is different from that one of 2 9 and 2 10. Let me give you this. For me, when working in Northern Uganda, it's a very sensitive place. I was born in Lirari Hospital here. I grew and sat primary here, I sat all level here. My relatives are all over. Okay? Some of you, do, like, I don't know if Job really remembers me, but we lived in the same house. He was a young boy, we used to call him Mamadi. This is this DPC. Muhammad, his grandfather's name. You see? The son of Simon, the son of we lived in the same house in Kipkum, we lived in the same house in Lira. He was a young boy, he doesn't remember. Yeah? <laughs> Joke, do you remember? 